Hi everyone, great to be with you again. Uh, we are working our way through the story of the feeding of the 5,000. And you'll remember that yesterday we heard Jesus ask Philip where they could get enough bread up a mountain to feed 5,000 people. Well, this is what Philip said. It would take more than half a year's wages to buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Another of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish. But how far will they go among so many? Here's a few uh, little facts to add some flavour to this part of the story. We don't know how Andrew came across this young boy. We just know that he appeared with five small loaves and a couple of fish. It's fairly self-evident that his contribution to the feast was all that was available, unless there were 499, 4,999 other people sitting very quietly with their packed lunches saying nothing, which just seems very unlikely. We know that barley loaves were the cheapest you could buy and weren't favoured because well, barley was seen as the food of animals, really. The fish was most likely small fish the size of sardines, which were abundant in the lake and were very likely pickled to keep them fresh because there was no other way of keeping uh, that kind of food in an edible state in the, in the climate. They constituted no more than this young boy's lunch. He hadn't intended to feed anyone other than himself. Because he had the cheapest bread, we can surmise that the fish would probably have come from the reduced to clear shelf in the market. This wasn't a banquet by any standards. But then again, we have to realise that with God it's not about quantity and it's not about quality so much. It's about surrendering what you have in order that he can pour out his blessings. And that's sometimes difficult for us to do. I can't begin to tell you how many times in my life I've looked at my resources and my family's resources and thought, this isn't enough. We can't manage on this. It's just not going to work. And I've prayed about it, I've surrendered it to God, trusted him, and he's blessed me and my family in all sorts of extraordinary ways. More than once, I've had little bundles of cash just posted through my letterbox when I was in need. He can always take what you offer and make it go further than you could reasonably expect it to. It's worth trusting things into God's hands. It's an amazing experience. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you that you love to give, uh, give us good things. Thank you that you know what we need even before we know that we need it. I pray, Lord, that you would help us to trust you to be our Lord and provider, our Yahweh Yireh. Help us to put all of our faith in you so that you may be able to work through us in the full power of heaven and of the Holy Spirit. So we ask, Lord, that you would come today and fill each of us again with your presence and your power. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.